Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Mark Van Coppenola, who is Head of Government Relations for Nokia. Mark, welcome to the studio. It's a pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital development. That's uh, the key catchphrase this year. How is Nokia working towards it? Yeah, I think if, if you look at the smart digital development, it's a lot about the fourth industrial revolution. And um, actually what we are seeing is that it's no longer a future state vision. It's, it, it's, it's really happening. And of course, various countries that are various phases of development. But what you're seeing is that we are having, in fact, for instance, uh, health networks which are being transformed to smart digital health networks with predictive uh, monitoring. What you're having as well is uh, energy networks that are being transformed to smart energy networks where you have demand and supply being aligned. And so this is very much close to our heart. Uh, I mean, um, our tagline is uh, creating the technology to connect the world. And uh, we are putting a lot of effort in, in R&D. And uh, related to 5G, we are active in, in a number of use cases, 60 use cases around the world, and also very much in artificial intelligence. So all these things are really very close to our heart. Now let's talk about innovation. What single innovation or innovative technology, product strategy or policy do you think uh, is most uh, transformative? Yeah, I think if you combine 5G with artificial intelligence, this will be truly transformative. Um, 5G um, is about a lot of use cases and uh, it's about combining a huge amount of bandwidth. It's about um, uh, reduced latency. It's about the capability to connect massive amount of devices. Uh, so you have uh, more hundred thousands of devices per square kilometer that you can connect. And if you combine all this, you really get to tr something transformative. And all this data that is being captured by these networks uh, through artificial intelligence uh, will be able to be processed. You will be able to uh, predict a number of things and this will lead to a huge amount of automation which will make our life and, and, and work much better. It may seem an obvious question, but is there a case of 5G in Africa? Absolutely. So if you look at, uh, of course, in Africa, you have uh, various stages of development, depend depending on the country, in terms of uh, adoption of new technology. But um, I think we can really prepare uh, for 5G in Africa. There is a huge amount of, of bandwidth demand that, that will come. I talked about uh, industrial use cases, but you can also think about uh, smart education. You can think about uh, smart agriculture. So all those things will, will really be there. And I think operators have really to prepare to 5G. Uh, they can start transforming their network so that uh, the use cases are going to be implemented. And so how can regulators and policymakers help to uh, uh, 5G to deliver on expectations? So what I think is important here is to have a 5G ready uh, policy framework and, and, and this consists of, of various things. Uh, first of all, uh, spectrum must be there, so allocation of spectrum, freeing spectrum in time. Uh, the second point which is important is to make sure that um, uh, infrastructure deployment are incentivized or made possible, so right of ways, uh, making sure that small cells can be installed uh, and, and all the procedures around that are really being simplified. Uh, and then, of course, it's important to have uh, the, the, the business models being enabled. So making sure that policies allow differentiation of traffic, but also free flow of data. So that's related to the... Um, uh, the, the telecom environment, but then we also need to look at policies in the non-telecom world, because you might have some policies that date from the pre-digitalization age, and that these policies are not up, or let's say can hamper digitalization. So we need to look at those as well, so making sure that uh, there is no blockage for digitalization in those. So everyone's on the same page. I wanted to ask you, you're here at ITU Telecom World, you've traveled quite a long way here from mm -hmm. Brussels. I wanted to find out what's the value of it for you of attending events such as this? Yeah, I mean, it's the third time in a row I, I'm attending this. And, and the real nice thing is that you, you can catch up with colleagues from, from industry or, or from other sectors. Uh, you can share best practices. And uh, the nice thing is what I heard in, in this event is that everyone is on the same page related to 5G. It, it's getting there. It's just around the corner. You have, of course, countries that are most advanced, uh, more advanced than others. But on the other hand, there is big progress also in developing markets. That's really nice to hear. Mark Bancovanella, thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot. Thank you.